All right, Pisces, here we go. You got a very powerful soulmate connection, Pisces. There's a lot going on in the energies. Two fish. I'm wearing my two fish shirt today. <laughs> Tell you what, this is a soulmate energies update for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, I promise you, you're here for a reason. It's timeless reading, so when you find it, you're meant to find it. In my pre shuffle, somebody, Ace of Swords. Somebody just, I, I get so much off of this card, I don't even know what to say. It, it's Ace of Swords. It, 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 uh, there's, there's been epiphanies, there's been thinking, there's been, they've been overthinking you. I mean, just thinking about you. If you've been thinking about your person, it's because they've been thinking about you. There's a psychic link, an empathic link, a psychopathic link here. All the pathics, all of them. I mean, it, it's, it's crazy. The amount going on here. This person can't walk down the street without thinking about you. What's, what the hell is going on here? Let's shuffle the deck for Pisces. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. And let's see where we go. What's going on with the love energies for Pisces here in this soulmate connection? Why is this Ace of Swords here and all that? Let's find out. Let's go. Here we go. Okay, we're ready to cut the deck. Whew. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, just sitting around watching plants grow. Thinking about you, though. Thinking, 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 thinking. There's mustard yellow on that, and your connection, Pisces, is tied to the Cancer Leo axis that I talk about all the time. Uh, I don't, you don't, they, they don't have to be a Cancer or a Leo. It don't matter. It's about energy. It's not about signs. This is tarot, not astrology. All right here. So just again, you're just in their mind. Just, uh, just oh, it's like all they're doing. They can't get work done. They can't do. I, I know you don't believe that. I, I bet you don't. But it's true. Right here, Ace of Wands. Think, look, look where it is. It's right there. It's like third eye, brain, crown chakra. Sh I mean, it's just fire, fire in the hole. I want a passionate new beginning with you. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's get our overall energy and let's pull this reading. This is very, 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 very powerful. This is a reading I'm glad I ate breakfast before I did. I wouldn't want to do this on an empty stomach. we go all right let's see where we go Pisces overall energy I mentioned the cancer Leo axis I got Leo energy here they don't have to be a Leo it's energy ever never mind I got a mailbag on the topic you can go find it in the mailbag playlist for my own edification this is an important card to have here this is verification of what I'm telling you uh, strength card mm. is the overall energy of this reading Somebody knows they have to take the mask off and get their ass in here and talk to you because they're, they're fixing to explode. Okay, they're just going to explode. And I always pull one clarifier from my overall energy, and I got it. I got the Seven of Wands. It's, it's somebody who needs to do something. It, it, sometimes this is a defensive position. Sometimes it's somebody standing the high ground. It's also somebody who stands up and does what's right for them. This person needs, needs to go. It's the energy around this. They need to do this. They're going to explode if they don't. Energy around the connections right here, overall. And right here is the how your person feels. This is how they feel about you. This is the hidden energy. This is the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. And based on how powerful this is, I can tell you right up front, you bet your sweet Pisces asses, we're going to extend this one. And there's going to be a link in the description for the extended video. If you want it, we're going to do some voodoo on there and find out what's going on. Because this person is just thinking about you. Alright? And the bird over here, he's a Pisces. He made noise all through the Taurus reading. All through it. He's like, are we going to get the Pisces yet? Are we going to get the Pisces yet? Are we going to get the Pisces yet? Now he's quiet as a mouse, isn't he? Listen. Nothing. I'm sure he'll make some noise throughout it. But through Taurus' video, he's like growling and... Okay, finally, we're here. We're doing Pisces. Shut up. All right, right here. Energy around the connection. All birds read energy, by the way. They're very psychic. Very feeling. Very empathic. Shouldn't say psychic. I mean empathic. Nine of Wands. They're, they're afraid of what they feel for you. They are. This is why strength here, all this whole reading is clarifying the strength card, basically. So, 
the strength card is surrounded by fear. If you're trying to get the strength up to do something, and you know you have to do it, you're going to have to pull up your big boy, big girl pants. You're, it implies you're afraid to do it. There's a wall of fear here. Here's a wall of fear. The nine of wands. Somebody's standing back. Somebody trying to... They're afraid of what they feel for you. They're afraid of all these thoughts they're having. What does it mean? How's it going to screw up my life? How's it going to mess everything up? How's this going to ruin this? Or this is going to ruin... I mean, it's, it's all in the energy. What I'm telling you is not stuff I'm making up. It's stuff that's in the energy. I mean, I'm like, your person's thoughts about you are so on the surface. I'm a fucking mind reader right now. I'm the amazing fucking Kreskin. All right? Right here. Uh, how they feel and their emotions. And the Ace of Pentacles. This has been a spell. It's taken them a long time. This has been building. The Ace of Pentacles is a slow-moving energy. I always call it Grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour. But it's also an energy that builds. It builds and builds. Uh, this this pentacle takes so long to get to its destination that by the time it's there, it's gigantic. It starts out the size of a quarter, and now look at it. It's like three times the size of a silver dollar. I mean, it's that kind of thing. It's building and building and building and, and ah. Thank you, thank you for backing me up on that. All right, two energy readers in the room. One with feathers. All right. Right here, how your person feels about you, not what they show you, not what they tell you. Yeah, the emperor. They're afraid of this. The emperor doesn't like this. Okay? Um, the emperor is the burger king. Male or female, it's someone who likes to control things, wants to have things their way. How they feel about you. And they've got an energy match here in coloring to this ace of pentacles. Is it's they're just trying to put a wall up and block it, but they can't. They cannot do it. I think when we clarify, we're going to see the fall of the emperor. Okay, I believe that because this whole reading is clarifying strength. We got a major arcana right here, powerful one at that, in our overall energy. And I got no major arcana. Well, I got one major arcana here, but I don't always consider the emperor. I know it's major arcana. But I hate the Emperor so much, I, I, I try not to give it... I, it's already got a big ego, you know? Let's not boost it some more. But uh, I, think, I think we're going to see the fall of the Emperor when we clarify. Hidden energy, I can feel that. It, uh, hidden energy, red with this Nine of Wands. Temperance. Again, they're hiding behind that wall doing a lot of thinking. This Temperance card tells me they're just thinking, 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 thinking about you. They're trying to get it together. They're trying to get this very similar energy to what's around strength. You know? Strength is almost crossing the emperor, uh, the, the temperance here. It, it's... They don't like it. It's bothering them. So they're so they need to do something about it. But I feel like they're coming in for the wrong reason. I feel like they're coming in to do something about it. It's almost somebody who's pissed that they're, that they're so much in love with you. They're pissed that you're so great. They're pissed that you're doing so great. But they're not really pissed. They feel something that they don't want to be feeling. This person is no, just... And they, we've been reading this energy for a while. They're like this. It's, it's you know, I don't want to be feeling this. Grr. Final outcome. Ace of Pentacles. What is it? What's the final outcome? It's red with the Ace of Pentacles. Long time. Queen of Pentacles, which, by the way, was at the bottom of the deck when I picked up the deck to do this reading, to shuffle from my pre, pre, reading, pre shuffle, right here, Queen of <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles. Yep, this connection, this this card here tells me this has been building within them for a long time. This is a nurturing energy. This is an energy right here of of someone who has their shit together. Someone who you, you're just not going to find the Queen of Pentacles, male or female, out on Tinder or on Craigslist or something. This is not someone that you're not someone they're just going to meet anywhere at the corner store, at the coffee shop, or anywhere. You're very special. Queen of Pentacles, very special, especially in my readings. The universe knows how I read cards, knows how all of us read cards. We teach it how we read cards. Just like in psychology, they say we teach people how to treat us. Well, we do. And that happens in the 3D. And on the energetic level, we teach the energy around us how to treat us and, and how we do things. That's why you 
That's why manifestation works. Right here. Um, I think it's been building and building and building. I think there's a snapping point coming here. I do. I think we're going to see the fall of the emperor. The nine of wands, why is it here? Tell me about this wall. And it don't look like to me there's much wall there. I think this new moon in Cancer we had on the, on the 10th, 9th or 10th, depending on where you are, I think it tore down this person's emotional walls. This was once a fortress that the Hulk himself couldn't have punched through, and there ain't much of a fortress there, because I'm feeling this energy. Why is this Nine of Wands here? Hmm? <laughs> oh, the lovers and justice, yeah. You're not going to win. They're not going to win. We're going to see the fall of the emperor. I promise you. I promise you we're going to see the fall of the emperor. We are. I promise you. Why is this? Uh, this is karma balancing here. They're feeling this connection too much. This is not the queen of pentacles. You can't find this just anywhere. This has been building in them for a long time. It's peaking. I bet you're thinking about them left and right, aren't you? I bet you can't stop. I bet you are. You're, you're here. Ace of Pentacles. If you're thinking about them, it's because they're thinking about you, not the other way around. I can feel that clearly from the energy. Granted, it's a general reading. Roles can be reversed. But for 90% of you, I'm reading the incoming energy. I'm reading your person. I mean, it's a general reading. There's no 100% here. But for 90% of you, I'm reading your person. And they are, they are flipping out batshit crazy over you right now. And with Major Arcana, Major Arcana. On top of this little minor arcana, I told you, not much of this wall left. Not much of it left. Not much of it left. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Why is it here? Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. It's been building forever. It's destiny. It's a destined connection. It is a powerful, this is a powerful, and it's, there, there's the snapping point right there, the Knight of Swords. They're just booking it in. The wheel is turning. I look at Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana, and the Knight of Swords just goes off. Oh, fuck it, I can't take it anymore. And he's running. He's running so fast towards you, right, towards your direction. It's over here. He's running this way. The motorcycle's pointing this way. They're coming. I say we're going to see the fall of the Emperor. I promise you. I promise you we are. That they're just going to reach a snapping point. It's been building so much. It's destined. It was supposed to happen. They were supposed to learn something. This is a karma. There's karma around this connection, past life karma and all of that. And there was a lesson here for your person to learn. And they got some karma on their side. Things fell apart a little bit when they rejected this connection in the past. And the universe don't like that. This is a powerful connection. L lovers, justice, wheel, and temperance. In close proximity, it's it's very strong. This poor little knight's like, I gotta get, I gotta get to Pisces. Why is the emperor here? Let's shuffle the deck. Let's let's see if we get the fall of the emperor. If I'm wrong, I'm fine. I'm fine being wrong on video. All right, I'm perfectly fine. I'll pull the card on video. Let me shuffle the deck here. All right, let's let's go. Let's shuffle the deck. Here we go. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. Fall of the Emperor, people. The Tower of the Emperor is coming down. They can't, they're going to crack. They can't take it. Come on. Come on. And after that, the card underneath it, wham, Six of Pentacles. All of a sudden, some equal give and take. All of a sudden, somebody who wasn't given to you in the past is now all up in your grill. You're getting message after message after message. You're like, what the fuck? I don't hear. It's like nothing, 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 everything. All at once. That's what I'm seeing here. And that tower is proof of that. That is the fall of the emperor. The emperor is not six of pentacles. The emperor is not equal give and take. He's all of the kings rolled into one. This person's trying to fight this connection. They're trying to control it. I don't want it. I don't want it. And the universe is fighting back with far too many major arcana cards. This knight comes running in. They finally reach a snapping point. The emperor's... Yeah. The Emperor's entire world comes down and right here and all of a sudden somebody who wasn't given to you is given to you. They're not going to be able to deal with this. They can't take this. You're not going to find the Queen of Pentacles just anywhere. I can feel it in the energy. It's here. It's very powerful. It's here. 
Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Five of Wands. Again, they're fighting it. Five of Wands and is red with the lovers. It's off of temperance. They're try Karma's trying to balance. I got two cards of Karma trying to balance here. I got the lovers. They're feeling this connection. I got the Five of Wands. It's an internal struggle with this person. They're fighting this connection. Oh, I don't want to be feeling this. I don't want to be feeling it. But fuck it. You can't. Well, you, they're not going to win. And the tower has taken down the entire emperor's world. The Burger King is being torn down and a good restaurant's being put up in its place, one that gives you the food the way you order it. Instead of just says they're gonna. Oh yeah, you can get it your way. How do you want your Whopper? No pickle, no mayo. Okay, here you go. It's got pickle and mayo on it. Assholes. Right here. You're gonna tear down the Burger King and build something good. Maybe a jack-in-the-box or something. You know? Something real good. Right here, five of wands. Why is it here? Empress. <laughs> oh, the Empress off of justice. It's the, it, again, the Empress also precedes the Queen of Pentacles. Neither of these two are out on, out on Tinder or anything like that. But I'd like you to note that right here in the hidden energy is the Empress and over here is the Emperor. We got ourselves the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. We got ourselves a, a Divine Connection here divinely guided connection I mean this is again it's been building for so long why did it take this person so we're gonna find out in the extended what the fuck you know and this five of wands is petty shit doesn't have a chance against the lovers the empress right here is telling me from the universe and the hidden energies when this comes out this is this is long-term growth there's long-term potential here the Empress is about abundance. Something new is about to birth here. This Five of Wands doesn't have a chance. It's surrounded. The, the Five of Wands is surrounded by Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana. I mean, it, it, Major Arcana Tower taking down the Emperor. And then Empress Energy takes over. They're coming to get the Queen of Pentacles. That's your energy attached to that. You're the one who can't be found anywhere. It's, it's an earthy energy. It, it, again, the signs don't matter. I know it's not a car to Pisces. Uh, Jesus Christ, I wish people weren't conditioned to believe that shit. And you might be dealing with a blah, blah, blah. You might be dealing with a blah, blah, blah. I've got, I watched a reading yesterday. I was dealing with 13 people. What the fuck am I dealing with? No, it's earth energy. This is how they feel you. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, why is it here? Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Why is it here? Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? The Hierophant. The Hierophant. You might be dealing with a Taurus. Oh my God. No! It's you. Your, you. This person, your energy to this person, you to this person, what's been building in their mind. You've taught them. You've shown them a way. This is the guru. This is the Pope in some decks. It's spectacular. The final outcome energy is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the final final on this, this is going to blow your mind. Keep in mind what I just said, how beautiful that is. Okay? A Knight of Swords is running towards you. I'm going to set this up. because it, it kind of slipped out of the deck and I snuck a peek. I'll give you a hint for those of you that have been here a while. He drives a Trans Am and he got glitter in his hair. It's the devil. It's devil energy. This here is the Pope and this here is the devil. And this here represents your connection. This person's running away from this. They're running away from all their fears. The devil's losing here. It's the final outcome. You're not going to win. I'm going to throw a crossing card over the top, but it's red in my reading with the Knight of Swords. They're running towards you. All Their whole world is crashing down because of how heavy you are in their mind. I'm going to pull. I'm gonna throw a crossing card here because we got the battle going on. We got the Pope versus the Devil. We got Jesus versus Satan right here on top of a beautiful connection. So let's throw a crossing card. 
man. The Empress is leading into it. This guy's just laughing right here on this card. He's laughing. He knows he's better than this. This is your person's fears. This is all the shit that's been holding it back. This is what we're going to pull on in the extended, this devil. What's the crossing card here between the Pope and the devil? What do we got? Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Goodbye, devil. It loses. It, it, this connection is too powerful for this one little energy here. I told you. It's the Ten of Pentacles. It's everything that's on this card. It's everything the devil isn't. The devil can't have this devil energy. This doesn't work. Devil energy, this, this person, one of these people would be a narcissist. And their child would be a little prick if devil energy bled in here. Right? Their child would be throwing rocks at these other children. I mean, it would be shit. That's not what's happening on that card. It's the Ten of Pentacles. This also tells me that if your person's in a third party, okay, that third party's been blocking this connection. It ain't no more. And that's part of what this tower is about. This disemperor could very well be a third party. The universe don't want to talk about that. I'm just telling you it could be from a card perspective. It could play out that way. The energy is just all about it's too much of you. The energy itself that's here is just all you, 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 you. Pisces, 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 Pisces. Building and snowballing. What else the universe want Pisces to know about this? I think this person is going to crack and come in. I don't think they can. I don't think they. This, the only thing stopping them is a five of wands and this need to control things, which is the tower is taken down. Uh, this nine of wands is no match for the lovers and justice. And this five of wands is no match for the lovers, justice, and the empress. And the wheel of fortune. And the hairpin. Look at all the major arcana on the fucking table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, major arcana, ten. Major Arcana cards. Ten Major Arcana cards on the table. Major Arcana is the universe. It's God. It's source. It's ruled in the 5D. It's shit that you don't have a lot of control over. It's the big stuff. Unbelievable. No way. It's, it's, this reading backs up everything I was telling you about the Ace of Pentacles. About this building up. It's everything I felt in the energy. So what's the universe and what Pisces to know here? And the birds have been so damn quiet through this. He a Pisces, you know. All right, right here. Yeah, somebody feels out in the cold. They want to come out of it. Somebody's fixing to come out of the damn cold. They can't take it anymore. Look at this girl on the picture. I don't care if your person's a guy. There's a girl in the car. Look at the girl. She can't take it no more. It's cold out there. The key's right there. They're fixing to put it in the hole. How do I know? Because nobody puts it in the hole better than the King of Wands. It's my spank bank upright card right there. There's too much passion here. Too much thought. There's too much energy. Too much. Too much. Another mustard yellow right there. Another kind of or yellowy yellow. Mustardy yellow here on the Ten of Pentacles. It's your connection color just like it's Cancer and Leo's. It belongs to you too. You're tied to it for whatever reason. I got a couple of energy readers I've been talking to. Neither one of us, can, none of us can figure out why or how you got sucked in, but you did. <laughs> and it's all here. It's powerful, powerful energy from the top of the deck. The fool, they're just going to go for it. This right here is the snapping point. They can't take it. They're out in the cold. They feel like shit. I got the key. I'm going to put it in the hole. Nobody puts it in the hole better than the King of Wands, the Spank Bank Upright. And here they come. Mustard yellow dress, I would like to point out. Taking a leap of faith. Why? Boom. Last card out. There's my mic drop. The Six of Cups. Soulmate connection. They feel this. They, they know. You, they've known you before. You've known them before. You feel it. You feel it in your soul. They knew it the moment you crossed paths. There's too many major arcana on the table here, Pisces. Too many major arcana. It's ridiculous. It's insane. And another one came out. That makes 11. The Fool. 11 major arcana cards out on this table. That's half of them. For those of you who can't do the math. There's 22. That's half of them. Half of them are here. It's crazy, right? Yeah. 
He's quiet for this reading. He's listening. He's actually sitting over there watching. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. You know you're a Pisces, don't you? Yeah, he wants that cockatoo back. He's hoping that cockatoo reaches out. <laughs> I know she moved away, but... <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> I like the cockatoo's owner, to be honest with you. I hope, I hope the cockatoo reaches out, too. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. Six of Cups. They're feeling this connection. In the extended, we're going to pull on this devil energy. Find out why this is taking so long to build. Why are there 11 major arcana cards on my table? I need to know. And I'm going to pull an extended. I need to know for me. If you want to know too, come on down. There's a link in the description. I'm going to pull it anyway. This is, this is very, very powerful. This is, this is the shit. I wish I could just title this video that. Pisces. Energies update. This is the shit. I might mention 11 major arcana cards. That might get people in. Because this is very important. Um, I, I can't find the words. It's just, they're just, it's all you. If you think this person isn't thinking about you, you are dead wrong, wrong, wrong. Wrong. All right. If you want the extended, the link's in the description. I'm going to pull it right now. No break, no nothing. I'm just going straight in. I'm going to pull on the devil. We're going to pull on what took so long with this. Why is this building up? I'm going to pull on this connection a little bit too. I need to know why there's 11 major arcana cards here. And we're going to see what actions specifically they're going to take towards you to bring this Ten of Pentacles to fruition. See what this fool's going to do. And if we need to, we'll get you some advice. All right? There you go. You want it? Link's in the description. You don't? That's cool. Have yourself a terrific summery day wherever you are in the north and a wintry day in the south. Um, and uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers and everybody who shares and all that. You guys are great. I appreciate everyone who watches. All right. Links in the description if you want it. Good luck, Pisces.